Hey guys, it's Albetium back with another guide and it's not technically a boss, maybe a mini boss guide, but it's still going to be difficult for people to overcome. And well, before I even think about asking you to click that like and subscribe button for me, please just allow me a chance to earn that from you. And with that being said, well, let's get in on this. Okay, so the prep work first. For the equipment, well, I'm still gonna be rocking my wintry rapier, and this is the amulet, you can do whatever you want. When it comes to the equipment, just pay attention that you are not heavy or slightly heavy. Stamina is going to be the key ingredient for us to win here. Of course, we're gonna be having the holy trinity of the throwables, and since we don't have a specter, we might as well use the wish on us, and it's going to be stamina related again. So why the stamina? Before we get into the actual complete boss guide, I want to show you how to pretty much nullify almost all of her attacks. If you are running to the right side, under her left arm, you're pretty much going to be avoiding 90% of the attacks. Now, if you are standing that close and she goes red, most of the times it's 50-50, she probably will hit you. So just remember, running to the side is gonna be able to grant you this passage from all of her attacks almost unharmed. And if you do get hit, well, next time she does go on one of her attack sprees, just simply use the opportunity to heal. And it's simple as that. So the beginning of the boss fight. From here, you can actually soften her up a little bit with some of your throwables, but not all of them. Just one set of throwables. Pop the wish and simply go inside and start fighting her. Do what I told you about running because now you have quite a lot of stamina. You're gonna be dodging most of it. Now, I'm not showcasing this here because, quite frankly, I just wanted to be done with it. But the principle is sound. I am very, very impatient in this boss fight. If you do not overcommit, use what I told you about going under her arm to dodge her attacks and not overcommit, you will be fine. Now, why I chose this footage is also because I did make a lot of mistakes and I ended up beating her. That is how effective it is. So, until she splits up, simply keep repeating this and, well, wait till she does just that. And when she does inevitably split up, this is why we are keeping all of these throwables this time around. It's not exactly for the boss, it's just to take down the clone as fast as possible. And I do mean fast. It's either three or four throwables and the clone is going to be dead. After you do that, she might on rare occasions actually split twice. So don't go crazy with the throwables unless you feel like you have this win in the bag. After that, revert to the strategy from the beginning, running to the side of her, in a circle around her. Always, always run in the opposite direction of the weapon and uh, you should absolutely be fine. Keep repeating that, keep an eye out for that stagger window because that is also going to be happening. Take advantage of that, but never ever overcommit. Guys, this is Albethium, hopefully this helps you. There's going to be more guides and well, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.